Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Philadelphia priest has been arrested and charged for allegedly stealing $100,000 to use on gay lovers. Monsignor Joseph McClune is being charged with 18 criminal counts, including felony theft. After a year-long investigation, my county detectives revealed he took parish money to use on a beach house and on the gay hookup site Grinder. His arrest comes after the Philadelphia Archdiocese conducted its own investigation of the priest, placing him on leave earlier this spring. A notorious New York bishop is on leave after being accused of homosexual assault. Albany Bishop Howard Hubbard announced last week he's stepping aside from ministry two days after a lawsuit was filed alleging he abused a teen boy in the 1990s. The suit marks the third time Hubbard has been accused of sexual misconduct. In 2004, a former teen sex worker alleged the bishop solicited sex from him during the 1970s. That revelation followed a claim that Hubbard pressured a young man into sex shortly after becoming Bishop of Albany in 1977. The young man later committed suicide. Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul has met with Cardinal Blaise Supich to discuss sex abuse. Chicago's WL WLS-TV reported yesterday the hour-long private meeting took place earlier this month at the request of Supich. According to Raul, the discussion focused on, quote, making sure that there's reconciliation for survivors and making sure abuse doesn't happen anymore, close quote. Since Illinois launched its investigation into clerical sex abuse and cover-up last year, nearly, nearly 700 predator priests have been identified, most of them unreported by Supich. The devil is a symbol, not a person. This from Jesuit Superior General Father Arturo Sosa. In an interview with Italian media yesterday, Sosa said, quote, symbols are part of reality and the devil exists as a symbolic reality, not as a personal reality, close quote. Sosa's statement directly contradicts the catechism of the Catholic Church, which teaches that the devil is a personal and immortal creature with intelligence and will. His statement is further confirmation of the liberal leanings of the Jesuit order. Gillette is dropping its failed toxic masculinity ad campaign. In January, Gillette jumped into the Me Too craze with an ad slamming so-called toxic masculinity, receiving enormous backlash from the public for portraying men as violent, abusive, and sexually harassing women. The campaign cost Procter & Gamble $8 billion, with many men swearing to never use Gillette products again. The newest campaign features, quote, local heroes showing firemen. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church builds and headlines. Please watch the Vortex today. Michael says it's time to go. God bless you.